this is Richard from Modern Health Spain. We are frequently receiving requests from our audience who would like to know more about current and updated anti-aging technology or products which are currently available on the market. Our first topic is the natural supplement spermidine, a trigger of autophagy which potentially has anti-aging effects. First a disclaimer, we are just sharing the information on the latest anti-aging products or therapies in this video. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here is the paper. Spermidine, a physiological autophagy inducer acting as an anti-aging vitamin in humans, which is an introduction to spermidine and some of the benefits that it provides. We recently had the chance to talk with Mr. Vedran Bielak, the CEO of Longevity Labs Inc, which has developed a series of spermidine products. We will be releasing our interview with Vedran soon. Two of the authors of the paper, Drs. Guido Kramer and Frank Madeo, are scientific advisors to Longevity Labs. Spermidine is a natural polyamine that is present in all organisms and is involved in many vital processes within our cells. It also shows antioxidant properties, enhances mitochondrial function and respiration, promotes chaperone activity and improves proteostasis. It has also been shown in mouse models that supplementing with spermidine extends lifespan, promotes cardio and neuroprotection and has other benefits. Many of these benefits seem to be related to spermidine's stimulation of autophagy. This is not surprising as many age-associated conditions have been shown to be improved by the cleaning effects of autophagy. Spermidine's ability to promote autophagy has been quantified as being equal to that of rapamycin. And if spermidine is fed to mice in which autophagy has been inhibited, the beneficial effects are lost. Spermidine tissue concentration declines with age across species. The one very interesting point is that this does not seem to be true for healthy nonagenarians and centenarians. Our levels of spermidine are dependent on our uptake, biosynthesis and production from the microbiota, and on the outgoing side, on degradation and excretion. So to maintain them we can eat spermidine rich foods, take supplements or use probiotics. Let's have a look at each one of these in more detail. Spermidine is made from putrescine, which in turn comes from orthanine and arginine. It can be oxidated to spermine, although this can be cycled back into spermidine. The microbiome also represents a source of spermidine. The concentration in the gut has been shown to be related to the colonic microbiota in mice, so good bacteria in our gut may have the same effect. Blood levels of spermidine and spermine can be upregulated through all administration of the probiotic Bifidobacterium LKM51T. Dietary spermidine is rapidly absorbed without degradation, so getting it from our diet is one good source. Food items with high spermidine content can help and include durian, shiitake mushrooms, fresh green peppers, wheat germ, cauliflower, broccoli, among many others. Fermented foods such as natto and mature cheese are also good sources. Eating spermidine rich food may be a promising strategy to promote healthy aging. It shows no adverse effects during lifelong administration in mice and current trials with elderly persons show good safety and tolerability. A recent epidemiological study followed 829 participants between the ages of 45 and 84 for 15 years and showed a correlation between high spermidine intake and reduced cancer and cardiovascular diseases. This has also been seen in another trial of 1,770 healthy participants aged between 39 and 67 with a 13-year follow-up. And it needs to be noted that these are observational studies, so showing correlation, not causation. As the authors noted here, it would also be very helpful to see the spermidine levels rather than just the spermidine intake. And their conclusion, they say, we have sufficient spermidine in our youth, but not in our old age. And so they say that maybe it should be treated as a vitamin when we're older, as a way to maintain our autophagy and so achieve better organismal homeostasis. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.